agreed on all kinds of foreign policy issues. We stood together on America's role as the one indispensable nation, believing that with great power and great blessings comes great responsibility. That burden is borne most heavily by our men and women in uniform. Service members like Doug, and Jimmy, and Jack, who followed their father's footsteps, as well as the families who serve alongside our troops. But John understood that our security and our influence was won not just by our military might, not just by our wealth, not just by our ability to bend others to our will, but from our capacity to inspire others with our adherence to a set of universal values like rule of law and human rights and an insistence on the God-given dignity of every human being. Of course, John was the first to tell us that he was not perfect. Like all of us who go into public service, he, he did have an ego. Like all of us, there were no doubt some votes he cast, some compromises he struck, some decisions he made that he wished he could have back. It's no secret, it's been mentioned, that he had a temper. And when it flared up, it was a force of nature, a wonder to behold.